Hi, welcome. Simon here and hope you're doing well. In this video, I'll walk you through step by step on how to upgrade your M.2 NVMe SSD drive. So if you want to increase more storage capacity, and this is what you need to do is to get a larger M.2 drive and swap it and install it in your Dell laptop. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I will link um, some of the tools as well as the um, the USB adapter for the M.2 drive um, which may come in handy down the road you might you guys might need it I'll explain to you um, in the video so please keep watching all right and uh, please feel free to smash the like button subscribe to the channel and I really appreciate you for doing that all right, so let's get right into it. This is a Dell Vostro 7620. And if you're not sure the model number here, turn it around, take a look at the back of your laptop. It says P117F. All right, Dell Vostro, Vostro, and let's get started. You do need to have a tiny little Phillips screwdriver, uh, which is the 1.5. Go ahead and remove the screw. So the top right corner and the top left corner, the two screws, they do not come off. All right, so when you keep turning until you hear that little clicking noise, pretty much you have reached to the max where the screw is. So do not keep turning, stop at that point. But the rest of other screws, they do come off. So just remove all the screws because we need to get to the back cover of the, of the laptop. All right, so keep taking off all the screws off. Okay, at this point here, what you wanna do is uh, get a separation between the back cover and your laptop. So just go ahead and pry it off. At this point here, you pretty much see the entire internal part of your laptop, okay? So the next step is identify where is your M.2. Mine is right here. So you should be the same location as me. Uh, get yourself a Phillips screwdriver and unscrew this screw. So this screw is holding down the heat sink as well as the M.2. Okay, so what? how to remove it, you just slide it to your left at 45 degree angle. Take a look at your M.2 here. This is a mini version, which is the smaller one. And here is the extender. The extender is to hold onto the small M.2 drive. And this is the heat sink for that. Now there are a couple of components here you can see. Definitely the thermal pad is here, pre-installed on the heat sink, as well as one little piece right here. It is installed on the chipset of your M.2 drive, right? So thermal pad is right on that thing here. So what you can do, I'll explain to you, assuming that you buy the larger M.2 drive, if you have the full size of it, you can install, slide it back at 45 degree angle to your right and close it down. While you're holding it down, get your heat sink and close it down. Now what you can do is you can recycle or reuse the thermal pad that was here and stick it onto the heat sink before you close it down or get yourself a new thermal pad. Not sure where to find them? I'll link them down in the description below. You can get it from Amazon or eBay. All right. I just wanted to explain to you what is this adapter for. Assuming that you have this um, M.2 drive, you have all your programs installed, your settings, your data, everything is in the original drive and you just say, hey, I run out of space, I want to increase my hard drive and I do not want to reinstall the program, what should I do? This is what you need to do. Get yourself the USB adapter, this is the M NVMe M.2 adapter. All right, so um, this here, if you want to get back to, sorry, um, 
If you want to clone the hard drive, meaning that you want to keep all the data from the original over to the new drive, uh, get yourself this USB adapter, plug it in the, uh, the new drive, stick it into your USB on the side here, and you can clone it. All right, cloning means you're cloning everything identical from the original drive over to the larger drive. So your windows, your program, your settings, your data, everything would be the same. That's one way to do it. Now in this video, I'm not going to do the cloning process I, because the process is long. I make a separate video for you. So go ahead and check it out. I'll link them down in the description below where you can see the, um, the cloning process. All right, so um, just wanted to show it to you. And second option, let's just say that if you decided not to clone the hard drive and you just want to start everything brand new, you can remove the old hard drive or your old hard drive is broken, cannot be cloned, cannot be saved. Well, you still can save the computer, but you can't save your hard drive. So what you do is buy yourself a new M.2 drive and get yourself a Windows um, USB installer okay so go ahead and install uh, fresh new windows onto your new drive and you just pretty much have a brand new computer okay um, you can actually download you don't have to buy them this one they're selling for about like 100 bucks um, comes with the license key but your computer do have pre-installed Windows license key on it so you do not need to buy this however um, if you're not sure how to make a bootable Windows, then you need to buy that. You can actually go to Microsoft website, get yourself a USB and make a bootable Windows and that should do it. All right. Um, hopefully this video is helpful. Again, um, if you find it helpful, please uh, give me a like. And uh, if you haven't subscribed, feel free to subscribe to the channel. And of course, um, comment below. So I do read the comments and I do answer all your computer questions okay thanks for watching until next time bye now